How deep is too deep? Diving into the depths of water can be extremely dangerous, especially if you're going in alone. Being unsupervised increases the risks of fatalities. Year after year, divers attempt to explore the uncharted territory, all while recording to log the footage. There's been multiple instances of divers going down to explore, but never resurfacing to the top. The Blue Hole is known for its beautiful and vibrant colors. To many divers, this is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It is 330 feet deep and can be located right next to the shore, meaning it is easily accessible to anyone. The slow current in the calming sea life gives it the illusion of being a great place. However, with an estimated 130 to 200 divers that lost their lives in recent years, the Blue Hole is renowned for having the greatest number of diving deaths worldwide. In the year 2000, Yuri Lipsky, who was a Russian diving instructor, decided to dive the Daha Blue Hole in Egypt. Diving into the depths of the ocean creates a thrill to divers. This was one of the main reasons why Yuri decided to visit the Daha Blue Hole. Though exploring the depths of the ocean may be thrilling, there are a lot of risks that come with it, including death itself. This is Yuri, the Russian guy. We heard of Yuri, of course. What we could do. What it's meant to be, it will be. Cannot change it. Due to a series of mistakes made by the 22-year-old at the time, Yuri Lipsky never returned to the surface. He died after an uncontrolled descent at a depth of 115 meters. This was through Yuri miscalculating his belt, which made him sink to the ocean floor, where he immediately suffered nitrogen narcosis that progressively poisoned him. Yuri Levski, yeah? Yuri, actually, I saw him uh, not, not the year he died on. I saw him a year before. Uh, he showed up once... The, the year before his accident, he showed up once and he was like everybody else showing up around the hub and we hear it every day. I'm here for two days. I want to do the canyon and the blue hole. Regardless, experience, certification, regardless, nothing. A few days before his death, Yuri Lipsky visited the blue hole to look for people nearby to gather some general information about this attraction. Despite being told about the divers that had died, Yuri was adamant to take on this challenge, regardless of the experience and the equipment he had. Yuri wanted to reach the bottom of the blue hole and immediately rise to the top. This is called a bounce dive, which is typically done by divers that want to take a shortcut, and it isn't recommended by diving experts as it comes with a lot of risks, such as decompression sickness which is a medical condition caused by dissolved gases emerging from solution as bubbles inside the body tissues during decompression. On the day of the dive, Yuri Lipsky would begin his dive into the blue hole. The phrase, curiosity killed the cat, is particularly fitting for this case as once Yuri went down, he never stopped. As part of the gear he was using, he only had one oxygen tank and weights on his belt to help him sink down to the bottom. He also carried a camera to record this exploration, which is the footage you're about to see. What he doesn't know is that, about seven minutes into his dive, he would be dead. Viewer discretion is advised.
Yuri reached the arch, which is impressive, however he felt like he could go deeper. But what he didn't know is that what he was about to experience would be his last moments. He began descending at a rapid rate. He couldn't control what was going on. The pressure was building as he progressively was getting poisoned. It was said that he was suffering from nitrogen narcosis, which happens when you are breathing under extreme atmospheric conditions. Fighting against pressure is one thing, but trying to escape while your body is rapidly losing its functions is another. This is what Yuri was experiencing as he landed on the ocean floor. The dirt flew up around him, as if it was setting up space for him to remain. The nitrogen narcosis gave him the sense that he was okay. However, it was only a delusion that he was experiencing while under these extreme circumstances. Experts don't know why he took off his breathing apparatus, but maybe the delusions were convincing him he was fine. You can see him gasping for air and struggling to survive through the harsh conditions. Suddenly, the video remains still. This is when he died. <laughs> 